When I started the company, the, the economy had just taken the downturn back in 2007, 2008. I was downsized out of the job looking for work, and at that point I was closing in on, on 50 years old, and there's not a lot of opportunities for, for I mean, experience counts, but not nearly as much as being able to take two, two youngsters out of, out of college and get them twice the work done for the salary that I would have commanded. When I looked at the program, it looked like something that I could greatly benefit from just because it starts at ground zero and takes you through you know, that, that net worth and, 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 and net, net profit and all the other stuff that, that you, know, you have always heard. And if you're not in finance, you think you know what it is, but when you're running the show, you better know what it is. To see how those people that were already successful carry themselves, the instructors, uh, the, the guest speakers that they brought in who'd been where I was trying to get and to listen to them and see that, that you know, one mistake is, does not equal failure. That means you, know, you, you, you regroup and, and you move forward and, and that, that helped me understand that, that you know, this is not a zero mistake kind of business, it's, it's, a, it's a, a grow and adapt kind of business. When I first got in the program, only had two guys working out in the field. Where I'm at now, after the program, I uh, have uh, three full-time employees in the field. Also hired a full-time estimator and uh, went from a home office into a commercial office space. And uh, we also reached, uh, just recently, a million dollars in sales. Some things like the financial aspects, uh, I didn't quite understand through the previous programs. and. After looking at it or visiting it again in this program, kind of start all making sense. You always learn something different, even though you learn kind of the same material. Uh, you always learn key pieces different from each program. So kind of getting to that point where I was being able to put everything together and start making it gel and make sense. Uh, it's kind of an aha moment for me. Working with my business coach from the program kind of helped me dial down and start looking at the numbers. and setting goals and different things we can do to achieve where I want to be two to three years down the road. So his parents were looking to retire and he likes the sales and operations side, um, loves that side, has no interest in doing the financial side. Um, my background, I have a degree in business. Um, and so as we were looking at where our future wanted to go and the future of the business, uh, we decided we were going to try it and work together. We told our kids, hey, you know, grandma and grandpa are going to pick you up. What are you doing? Mom and dad are going to a class. You're taking a class? You know, they're like, you're old. You don't have to go to class anymore. And like, we do. We, we want to learn to be better. That, that's what I hope our kids get out of it, is that we, we'll still go to class. We still go to school to still learn things, to remember things, to... To, to find a better way. There were a lot of aha moments. One of them, I, I mean, there's little secrets even in there of like cash flow management that, again, you think about and you should do, um, but hearing Dan Axtell with Lexington put it in perspective about how to leverage line of credit versus um, paying early terms to vendors. That is one immediate thing I was able to put into practice. Would we have thought about some of those things or tried to work on some of those elements or those bigger questions. Had we not gone through the class, probably not. That course was launching off point for us developing our plan and our path.